Steve Baker, welcome to Taxi. Um, and uh, you're just uh, shooting some stuff at the moment for uh, Starlight, I believe. Yeah, it's a great little commercial for the Starlight Foundation. Um, it's a new campaign where you can go online and uh, do a colour by numbers scheme where you, you click in and, and you can you donate how much, however much money you want while you click in that little bit of colour and then they send you the, f the finished product back. It's, it's a really great idea, but the commercial is, is really sweet. You know, I'm really kind of keen, and I guess everyone's kind of keen to really understand what um, you know what your influences influences have been to get you to this to this point in the first place. Um, well, I've always been artistic. My grandfather was was a really good artist, and I I think I've got a lot of that from him. So I've been drawing ever since I was a little kid, and my mum's been really encouraging with that kind of with that side of things, and taking me to film festivals when I was a kid and animation festivals, and I fell in love with. Because I, because I fell in love with film and drawing, animation was kind of a natural progression. Um, so I just kind of went from there and studied animation and started making my own films. And, and uh, the, the older I got, the more mature I got, the more interested I became in storytelling. And, uh, you know, where I am today is just a filmmaker who's just really, really interested in telling great stories. Excellent. So was there a kind of a movie that you saw you know, when you were younger, that really kind of provided the, I guess, the real kind of, um, you know, the, uh, the the zest and the, the enthusiasm, the desire to go pursuing this as a career. Well, my my very first memory, in fact, was ET. That's my first memory ever. Um, but that didn't that didn't inspire me to make films. I, I think uh, over the years, I, I always loved the special effects side of things, seeing things blow up and latex and blood and gore and stuff like that just as a just as a kind of young typical boy thing but honestly when I um, I was home one night and I uh, looking through the TV guide and they, they said there was this film called Apocalypse Now that was coming up and I had never heard about it and I put it on this is late at night on a TV that's like this big with commercials and censored and I was still floored by this film and ever since that moment I was just really interested in filmmaking and, and and that was the first time I ever saw something that kind of went beyond just just a film it was, it was so much more than that it was atmosphere and and just the visual side of things and it was just an incredible film and tell me about um, you know I guess you you're, you've made your mark with an animation style that while it is storytelling there's, and it is humorous there's a there's a real kind of insightful I guess bittersweet human story to these so how did you know what kind of got you really interested in that I guess that particular genre well for, for a while when I first started making these shorts I was making nothing but comedies and people were really liking them the audiences were you know responding to them quite well um, but when I, I made a film which not a lot of people have seen it was called moments and it was the first time I'd ever made a film where it combined humor with heart with a bit of pathos and, and poignancy and, and you know it was about something and the reaction that that film got was really incredible and it just you know when you combine something that's I guess entertaining with something with brains and heart people remember it a lot more and they kind of walk away thinking about it and talking about it with their friends and um, and you know, ever since then I've tried to put you know a lot of heart and brains in, into something that is funny and entertaining. Mm. Do you find that, I mean, I guess, when I've looked at, you, at your work and particularly, you know, uh, the later stuff that you've been doing you know, that, that has that humour, bittersweet piece, I mean, I, I guess it, one of the, um, you know, from my perspective at least anyway, one of the great things it does is establishes an immediate empathy with the audience because it kind of is, it is real and it is authentic and it does have a, a real kind of human side to it that everyone can connect. I mean, how, how important do you see that in, in everything that you do? I mean, I guess in the general world of content. Well, I just, I think there's so much more to life than just having a laugh. I mean, I think those, those kinds of things are great, but, you know, there's, I just think as a filmmaker, as a storyteller, it's, I don't want to say oblige, but it's, it's kind of, it's great when you can offer something to the audience. You can, you can offer them something where they can walk away really pondering on something that's maybe a little bit bigger than themselves. Um, maybe also making them feel a little bit smaller, which is one of my favorite things to do. But um, yeah, you know, I mean, if, if the, I like to get a reaction. I like to get the audience to feel something. 
you know, and it's, it's really as simple as that. Excellent. Well, thanks again, Steve, and uh, thanks for joining us at News at Taxi this month. Uh, see you all again next month.